All right, everybody, today we're going to be spotlighting our gas over oil actuator. Um, it, right now, this is uh, mounted onto our midstream trailer. So, all of our high pressure direct gas actuators uh, are all on this trailer right here that we use to go around to our midstream customers uh, to give presentations. So, gas over oil basically, you have your two high pressure gas cylinders. Um, there will be high pressure direct gas that's going to be forced into either side. Once that happens, the hydraulic fluid that's beneath the gas is going to start to move through the actuator where it will open and close the actuator per uh, their controls or the direction that it's given either from its local manual controls or from a control room, which this is going to be our equivalent to seeing in a control room environment. All right, this particular actuator is our symmetrical style. We also manufacture a candid scotch yoke. Um, every actuator that goes out of our door is specifically designed, engineered, and manufactured right here in Houston, Texas, using 100% American-made products. All right, I want everybody to be aware of that. All right, now we're gonna go into our controls. Uh, we have it set up here where we have our local manual, and then we also have our remote set up as well with our high-pressure solenoids. Uh, this right here demonstrates if you were in a control room, say, out in the middle of nowhere, uh, you can work the actuator sitting at a desk by pushing a button, and that's what demonstrates this right here. Um, we have our local manual. So we have our open, we wanna push it in, and we turn it to the right for open, and then we're gonna turn it to the left for our close. The valve, obviously right now we're showing a green light. That means our valve is open. So I am gonna work it local manual, and I'm gonna close the valve for you. Now you'll see that the light has gone away. It's in mid stroke. And once, now we are fully closed. It's gonna exhaust out. All right, so now that our valve is fully closed using our local manual, now I'm gonna go into our uh, hydraulic hand pump, which is our manual override. All right, so we manufacture these hand pumps in house as well. Uh, these are made with uh, high pressure in mind as well. What you do is you'll be pushing in on one side to uh, open the valve. If you need to close the valve, you're gonna push in the left-hand side. Uh, our hand pumps are labeled, so your, uh, you know, your, your text will be out there and they'll know which way to go. So right now, it's showing in our control room that our valve is fully closed. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this uh, with our hand pump. So to open, it's on this side, we're gonna push it in. We're going to grab our handle and then we're going to start to pump. Now, if you will pay attention to our control room, once I start pumping this valve, the light will change from green and there will not be lit up because the valve is going to be somewhere in the middle. All right, so there you go. You see the light has gone off. The valve is now. Uh, somewhere between the open and closed, but it's not fully open. It's not fully closed. Now we're going to go into one of the safety features of our hand pump. It has an automatic reset. So what happens is your hand pump has been pushed in to, to open the valve. Let's say that the control room sends a signal to close the valve. It's going to generate gas and somebody's doing the hand pump generating gas. If it didn't have that automatic reset, it could start moving this, hand, this handle on the hand pump very fast and it could actually hurt somebody. So we'll demonstrate that. And when I demonstrate this, I will be using it as if we were in a control room, okay? So I am a control room. I'm gonna send a signal to open our valve um, and the hand pump has been energized. You're gonna see it, it's gonna go to an automatic reset. Now it's gonna exhaust out. So this concludes our uh, little seminar over our gas over oil. Um, if you would like, you can go to our website, www.atiactuators.com. Go to the Knowledge Center and you can see um, you know, all different types of actuators that we manufacture. Uh, if you need to send us a quote or if you want us to come out and bring our demo trailer to you to show you a demonstration, uh, email us, sales at atiactuators.com or you can always give us a call, 713-934-934. 0171. Thank you.